Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom, there I am. Shabbat, Shalom, everybody. We have an interesting thing going on today and tomorrow officially. And that is that it's officially, um, when Shabbat starts today, we start the ninth day of the month of Av. And the ninth day of the month of Av is, in Hebrew we call it Tisha B'Av. So if you've ever been to summer camp, a lot of times people are at summer camp during Tisha B'Av. So we have this joke that we tell about which holiday comes in the summer and reminds you of bunk beds. Is Tushy above. Ah. Tushy. <laughs> Except Tushy above is cute and funny, and Tisha B'Av is nothing like cute and funny. It's the saddest holiday of the year. So, I mean, but we still like the joke, I'm sorry. And um, <laughs> it's the saddest because the temple was destroyed on Tisha B'Av, on the ninth day of Av, the first temple. And then the second temple was destroyed on the ninth day of Av. And the Spanish Inquisition started on the ninth day of Av. And that's just a few of the most horrific things that have happened, and many other things have happened on that day. So I don't know if you realize it, but we kind of collectively hold our breaths on the ninth day of Av because terrible things happen to us as a people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's a hard thing for us. As Reformed Jews, Tisha B'Av is a hard holiday. The reason why we are used to calling our houses of worship temple is because we are sad that the temple was destroyed, but like we're supposed to do with death, we've moved on. And so now whatever building we're in is our temple and wherever we are is good enough and it's okay. But it's hard for us. Of all of the holidays during the year, most Jews, if they're going to fast, will fast for Yom Kippur. But the second most observed fast day is Tisha B'Av. So this year it's unusual because this year it comes on Shabbat. So I don't know if you remember that if you're in mourning, if God forbid you're in mourning, you're supposed to suspend your mourning on Shabbat. All the mourning rituals are supposed to be suspended on Shabbat. So let's say you went to shul every single day if you're one of those kind of congregations and you have your set seat where you always sit. When you're in mourning, you're not supposed to sit in that seat because life is different for you. But on Shabbat, you go back to your normal seat. It's things like, things like that. There are a lot of ways that it's different. So for the Jewish calendar, instead of trying to put them both together, you can't be intensely sad and joyful at the same time, which is part of what's going to be difficult about me talking a little bit more about uh, Tisha B'Av and getting us ready for Tisha B'Av. Uh, it starts tomorrow night then, the commemoration of Tisha B'Av, and, um, or Tishabov. How many people remember it as Tishabov? Tishabov. That's how I grew up, was <laughs> Tishabov. Um, <laughs> I read a really funny article about all of the very wrong ways to try to program Tishabov for camp. We did not this. Like some camps, they'll have all the campers make a copy, a replica of the temple. And then the counselors get to burn it down. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just terrible. Or you get to walk around the... We did something like this, but I think ours was an inspirational version of this. But you kind of walk to different stations all around the campground, and each of those stations represents another horrible thing that happened in Jewish history. So it's like just bombarding little kids with horrors and pictures. and I mean, all kinds of... T don't traumatize anybody by this. That's not what it's about. Um, the most pleasant ways, the most meaningful ways, I'll say that, it's not supposed to be about pleasant, the most meaningful ways of commemorating Tisha B'Av include the musical methods of observing the holiday, that you do something called kinot, which are somber songs. And so tomorrow night, we have been invited to commemorate the festival with the, the holiday with the Gudeth Achim, they have a cantor now. They, they, you know, their rabbi retired, so they now have a cantor. And see, so he was very excited to try to do a musical program with us. So I will be going there, and we'll be singing tomorrow night. And I'll tell you about the details in a minute. You just got that, but that's one of the ways of doing it. But so before we start our service at all, I would like to sing with you one of the songs that we do, kind of get you in the mood for a little bit of Tisha B'Av, 
but then I want to remind you that we're supposed to be joyful again on Shabbat. This song, I know it's going to break some of your hearts, but it's in English. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> part round. I'm not going to make you do it as a round. If you have, feel roundly inclined, you're welcome <laughs> to try to pick it up in another way. But, um, but I would like you to sing with me. By the waters of Babylon, we lay down and wept as we remembered Zion. We remember, we remember, we remember thee, Zion. By the waters, the waters of Babylon, Try that again. By the waters, the waters of Babylon, we lay down and wept and wept for thee, Zion. We lay down and wept and wept for thee, Zion. you do it twice each time. This time we'll sing it one more time through, only once. By the waters, the waters of Babylon, we lay down and wept and wept for these Zion. We remember, we remember, we remember Some of you know the quote. It says, how can we sing a, a God's song in a strange land? It was a very sad and traumatic time. But now we're going to sing familiar songs, and it's not in a strange land. It's in our land. So I suggest, someone said to me, you know, last week we had 25 people come to services, and <coughs> I thought it was something I did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but they said, you know, it's too hot to come out for services. By the time you get back to your car, it's still too hot. And so I'm going to, I don't know if I should make the song service longer so that maybe the sun will be out. No. <laughs> or if I should just make it short and let you get to your car and go. Sydney likes the second version, so I'm going to do the second verse. Fred, <laughs> we've got lots of nodding. So we're going to do service three, which is our favorite service in the summer for those reasons. We begin on page 82. And as you know, as our tradition, we are home, this is our home now, so everybody's going to be honored with leading us in lighting the candles, blessing the candles, and blessing the, the Shabbat. So we turn to page 82, and if you are comfortable standing, please rise. Page 82, and read with me. These lights are only flickering flames, yet flames illumine our uncertain steps. Flames remind us of Sabbaths long past, and of their beauty that delighted our hearts. May they inspire us to work for the great Sabbath of peace. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad Praised are you, God, you made us holy. You gave us commandments by commanding us to light the candles that are Shabbat candles. Shabbat candles. <laughs> now I'm going to stand over here for a second because I forgot something important. Yeah, breathing. I mean, when I sing, I'm breathing, so I forgot, but maybe not everybody else got to breathe. So please take a deep breath. Let it out. Ah, try one more time. Let it out. I feel better already. 
I'm going to turn to page 165. I'm going to chant the Kiddush in Hebrew, but if you would rather do it in English, chant it or read it, please turn to page 166, and that's where it starts. Or 165 to 166 is the transliteration, and you can fake it with me. I wouldn't <laughs> mind. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Kodesh, <laughs> Kivanu vacharta, votanu kidashta, mikohamim, veshabat koshecha, beahava uviratson, inchatanu, baruchata hadonai, mekadesh. And Labriut. That was wonderful. Please make sure you say Shabbat Shalom to somebody you came in with, somebody you didn't come in with. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Front row. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Front row. You can't turn around that well, and I can't get too far. Okay. <laughs> now we go all the way back again to page 83. <coughs> I like, by the way, on page 82, it's exactly what I was just talking about. And I hope that you look for these things in the service. It says that flames remind us of Sabbath's long past. And that's what we're doing. Rem we're remembering something that happened so very long ago, but then at th this is not about Tisha B'Av, but it does remind us that there is beauty of all of the things that delighted our hearts as we go along. We continue at the bottom of page 83. There are days when we <laughs> seek material things and measure failure by what we do not own. On Shabbat, we wish not to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature with reckless greed. On Shabbat, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. There are days when we think only of ourselves. On Shabbat, we open our hearts to the needs of others. Think about that for a second. Open our hearts to the needs of others. <coughs> Therefore, we welcome Shabbat. Day of rest, day of joy, day of peace. And we welcome the angels that accompany us. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon. Nimelech, Malachi Halachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi helyon. Mi melech malachi ha malachim, hakadosh baruch hu. Baruchuni le shalom, malachi ha shalom, malachi helyon. Mi melech malachi ha malachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Tzedekem l'shalom, Malachi ha-shalom, Malachi el-yon. Mimelech Malachi ha-malachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel. Born of our love and longing for the living God, it has been to Israel throughout our wanderings a visible token of the presence of God in our people's midst. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast it has stood as the champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its, its God, God is the God, God of all people. people. As, as it, it has been said, said my house, My house shall, shall be called, called a house, house of, of prayer, prayer for, for all peoples. peoples. Let all the family of Israel, all who hunger for righteousness, all who seek the eternal, 
find God here, and here find life. Amen. Amen. God, how can we know you? Where can we find you? You are as close to us as breathing, yet you are farther than the farthermost star. You are as mysterious as the vast solitudes of night, yet as familiar to us as the light of the sun. To Moses you said, you cannot see my face, but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Even so does your goodness pass before us in the realm of nature and in the joys and sorrows of life. When, when justice, justice burns, burns within, within us like a flaming fire, fire when, when love evokes willing sacrifice, sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion we, we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, then your goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. And then you live within our hearts and we through righteousness behold your presence. Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad I'm going to chant it in Hebrew. If you want to join me, you can chant it in Hebrew or in English. Ve'ahavta ehet Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha uvechol nafshecha uvechol meodecha ve'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavcha hayom alevavcha. Mitzrayim <laughs> What's your brother's name? Dominic. So I said everybody should chant with me in Hebrew or in English, and the only one I heard singing was Dominic, and Dad <laughs> covered his mouth. <laughs> I love that. Page 89. Thank you, Dominic, for singing with me. I'm just kidding. He wasn't the only one I heard, but he sang with the most gusto. <laughs> Page 89, we continue responsively. Thank you, Dominic. No, but responsively means I go first and then you go. <laughs> I, the eternal one, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you. I have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. 
We are Israel, witness to the covenant between God and God's children. God's children. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God and you shall be my people. We are Israel. Our Torah forbids the worship of race or nation, possessions or power. You who worship gods that cannot save you, hear the words of the Eternal One. I am God, there is none else. We are Israel. Our prophets proclaimed an exalted vision for the world. Hate evil and love what is good. Let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. We are Israel, schooled in the suffering of the oppressed. You shall not oppress your neighbors nor rob them. You shall not stand idle while your neighbor bleeds. We are Israel, taught to beat swords into plowshares, commanded to pursue peace. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children will be taught of your God, and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, O God, when we are witnesses to your love and messengers of your truth. You are my witnesses, says the Eternal One, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me, therefore, and put your trust in me. We are Israel, O God, when we proclaim you, God our Redeemer, as did our ancestors on the shores of the Red Sea. <laughs> Adonai Gal Yisrael, we praise you, O God, Redeemer of Israel. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. O God, spread over us your shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, and bless us with rest. And let a time come when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish, a time of happiness, of contentment and rest. Baruch Adonai. Praise to you, Adonai. You spread over a sukkah of peace upon us, on all of your people Israel, and on Jerusalem. We give thanks for the night and its rest, and the promise of peace for all the world. <laughs> We continue on page 93 with the tefillah. Please rise.
Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agitehi latecha. Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohei avoteinu vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Lea, Velohe Rachel, Hael Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora, El Eon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezoche Haste Avot Vimahot, Ume Vigula Liv Nevnehem, Leman Shmo Behava. Melech Ozer u Moshia u Magen, Baruch Atah Adonai, Magen Avraham Vezrat Sarah. God of all generations, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, of Sarah, Rebecca, Leah and Rachel, be praised. Your wondrous creative power fills heaven and earth. God of life and death, be praised. Through us, send help to the falling, healing to the sick, Freedom to the captive. Confirm your faithfulness to those who sleep in the dust. Awesome and holy God, be praised. With acts of love and truth, we hallow your name. As it is said, be holy, for I, your eternal God, am holy. God of times and seasons, be praised. Enable us through Sabbath rest to explore and learn and impart the meanings of your Torah. Make our hearts ready to serve you this day and all day. God who answers prayer, be praised. May we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are our God. Source of life and its wonders, be praised. You are the miracle within all we behold. You are goodness, you are compassion. We give thanks to you forever. God of peace, of justice, and of love, be praised. Inspire us to banish forever hatred, war, and bloodshed. Help us to establish forever one human family united in peace. God of peace, bless us with peace. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leo Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Ata Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Ki Ata Melech Adon Lechol HaShalom Shalom Rav Israel Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Israel Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ve'tov Be'enecha Le'varet Et Amcha Yisrael Be'chol Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Tassim Le'olam Tassim Le'olam Take a moment. You may think about how you feel about the destruction of the temples. You may take a moment to talk about how you feel about the heat, but it's <laughs> time now to take a moment to talk to God privately.
corners of my mouth. Im refi veheg yon libi. And the meditations of my heart. Lefane. Acceptable to you, Lefane. Be acceptable to you, Adonai Tsuri. God, my rock, Tsuri Vegoali, my rock and my redeemer, Adonai Tsuri. God, my Oh man, that's wonderful. That's so much fun to do. I'm glad we decided to start doing that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Um, at this time in our service, our hearts and our prayers turn to those who are ill or recuperating as we turn to the inside back cover of our prayer book. You are welcome to call out names for whom you would like us to pray. I have my list, um, but I will not be reading my list out loud. But I need you to call out anyone for whom you would like us to be saying our prayers. Sister Mary Jo. For all these names, for the names we hold in our hearts and choose not to say out loud, we pray together. O oh God, in, in our, our hearts, hearts we, we name those, those who are facing illness, illness and pain. pain. We, we join, join our, our prayers, prayers with the prayers, prayers of all who love them. them. Give them renewed comfort and courage. And courage. Strengthen, Strengthen in them the healing powers you have placed within us all. Guide the hands and hearts of those who are entrusted with their care. care. May the, May the knowledge, knowledge of, of your love, love and ours, ours give, give added hope, hope to them and, and to their dear ones. ones. May, May they, they find even greater strength because our prayers are linked to theirs. Baruch atadonai, rofeh acholim. We praise you, eternal God, the source of healing and health. We add, Misheberach avotenu ve'imotenu. May the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom and protecting us in this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they've been called to serve. May they return home safely, and let us say, Amen. Amen. In my lifetime, I have had experiences like what happened at 9-11, or Katrina, that are the kinds of devastating things that have changed the world forever. I know from some of you that there was a, a day when we got attacked at Pearl Harbor. And I think that that was a similar kind of a thing that changed our world forever. And I know from what I've learned from the stories from you that when Pearl Harbor was attacked, young men who weren't old enough to enlist somehow managed to enlist. I know that at 9-11, everyone ran to try to donate blood, and the blood wasn't needed. I know at Katrina, how we tried and we helped people, even here in Shreveport, when we were nowhere near what was going on there, and we tried to help. It's hard for me to try to figure out what you do with those memories and how we turn them into what we need to become and what we need to, to do from then on. Tisha B'Av, and I, I, I need to teach you something. There's a Jewish expression that we say in the Talmud where you say, Lahavdil. You may know about the Havdalah ceremony. Havdalah is the ceremony that you use to separate. It's a separation ceremony. You separate Shabbat from the rest of the week. You separate what's holy from what's ordinary. And there's this expression, Lahavdil, which means to separate. I don't want to say that we can compare these things. I don't even know that we can compare any of those because each of them has the weight of 
such enormity of the tragedy that you can't compare it. Tisha B'Av changes our world. The things that have happened on Tisha B'Av have changed our world absolutely, totally, irreparably. And some of the things that I wanted to explain that was different. One of the things to me that's different, at least as I understand what happened with the destruction of the temple, is that Pearl Harbor, 9-11, Katrina, many of us who were not in the middle of it, we were able to rally and try to help. To my understanding, after Tisha B'Av, after the destruction of the temple the first time and the second time and the Inquisition, people didn't help. We were left helpless. We had nowhere to be. We had, it, it was devastating. And recently in trying to study up for this, I realized that there were other things that were taught and I don't know that these are true because unlike things like 9-11, I don't remember what it was like. And when we celebrate the one day that the temple was destroyed, we forget that three weeks ago, the temple walls were breached and the enemies came in and they started devastation. And we've had, we had devastation. And then when the walls fell, when the temple was demolished on, nine, on the 9th of Av, we were taken as, as prisoners. We were taken as slaves. And we had no hope, we just left. And we had no home. But it's not just that. That's the part that I remember. I remember what that was like. The part that I forgot was what it was like to worship at the temple. Because I don't always like remembering that. It had to do with offerings and animal sacrifices and I, I, it's not something I like remembering. I, I'm kind of glad as the reform movement teaches us especially, I'm glad that we're not doing those sacrifices as the way we offer our thanks to God. I am glad that we use our words and our songs and most importantly our deeds and that's the way that God wants us to worship now. So I'm not glad the temple was destroyed but I'm glad what we have become in, in moving on since then. But some of the things that we're missing are things like they taught us that you could, you could feel God's presence in the temple. Here you can feel spiritual, but you could feel God's presence. Do you know that whenever they had their sacrifices and the smoke would raise up, do you know that no matter how rainy or windy or anything was going on, the smoke never wavered, it stayed straight up. Did you know that? That you could see that God was there accepting offerings because God made it so that this pillar of smoke was always standing up straight no matter how windy the conditions were. To me, that's awesome. There were all of these ways that we could palpably feel that God was with us, and when they destroyed the temple, I don't know that too many people feel that anymore. And in we, even when we call this a temple or a synagogue, I don't know how many people get to feel that anymore. That makes me a little sad. So the lesson I'm supposed to teach on Tisha B'Av is there are rabbis who say that the reason why the temple was destroyed was that we stopped working together. We stopped liking each other. The Jews weren't cooperating. We didn't get along. I don't like that as a reason because you know me well enough to know that God doesn't zap, that people in Katrina weren't being punished because of the things they did. The only thing that they did was choose to live there and that wasn't being punished. That just happened. That's what it was. I don't think that America was being punished when Pearl River, when Pearl River, when the attack at Pearl Harbor happened. I don't think that that's what it was. But I like what we can learn from that. I like that we can learn that if we work together, maybe we can prevent bad things from happening, maybe. Which is part of why we decided we've got a new cantor in town and we were going to try to worship with them tomorrow. So let me tell you what we're doing this week. Uh, tonight, we're showing a movie, not about the destruction of Jerusalem, but about the rebuilding of Israel. We're showing a movie called O Jerusalem that was about a Jewish guy and an Arab guy who became friends in New York, but then were both called in 1948 to the new state of Israel, and they find themselves not always on the same side. And I haven't seen this movie before, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, that's tonight. And... Tomorrow night, we will be at Agudath Achim. Uh, the schedule is bring a flashlight, 
because one of the traditions for Tisha B'Av is you sit in the dark, and if you want to read any of the words to the songs we'll be singing, you'll need to bring your own flashlight. Um, we meet at 8.45, 9 o'clock will be Havdalah. It should be cooler by 8.45 and 9 o'clock. <laughs> um, by 9.10, you're listening to this schedule, this is cool, this is what they promised us. 9 o'clock Havdalah, 9.10, we will do the Echa, which is the Book of Lamentations. And the cantor says that he can chant through the Book of Lamentations um, by 9.40 in less than half an hour. We'll be finished with the whole service we need to do for Tisha B'Av. And we will be singing these keynote, which are somber songs. Some of which are English songs and some of them are, many of them are things that you probably have heard before. That's tomorrow night. If you want to join us, we'll be there. Um, but I have to warn you, it's not going to be that we're going to have a, a food afterwards because Tisha B'Av, as I said, is one of the fast holidays of fasting. And because we're in mourning, some of the other traditions, did you know that when you're in mourning, you don't go around greeting each other? So it's a holiday. Tisha B'Av is a holiday where you try not to go around saying, hi, how are you? <laughs> um, it's, it's the hardest part of the holiday for me. <laughs> it's easier to fast than it is to not say hello to everybody I see. But that's what we do because we're in mourning. And then we move on from there. Um, next Friday, by the way, the movie is Oh God with George Burns and John Denver. Did you see that one? It was nominated for an Oscar. and I uh, know, for an Academy Award, I think. I don't know. It was nominated for something. But it's precious. George Burns comes down, and he's God, and he talks to this guy who's an assistant manager at Albertson. No, it's something like Albertson's. Um, we said that it has a lot to do with us. And he says, I want you to tell people, this is my message, tell them this. And John Denver doesn't know what to do. And it's, it's, it could have been silly, and it could have been trite. It's funny. Carl Reiner directed it. And it is a great movie, and I haven't seen it since 1977, so I hope you join us and watch it. We give out free pizza and popcorn and pop during the movies. Um, I, my continuing ed, uh, education classes, the adult education classes, will be continuing Wednesday night. Last class of the Hebrew, lesson six, is at 5.30. And then basic Judaism class, uh, the class this week asked to learn about life cycle events. We'll be talking about life cycle events. Um, so please... Tell people to come if they haven't already. Come and join us. And if you can't make it, we also have them live streaming, which means you can watch it live as it's happening, or after the fact, you can watch it anytime. Um, you may have peeked in the back and seen that some of the playground equipment has come down. The big slide is down, that big equipment with slide. Some of the balance beam things are down because they were getting kind of dangerous and rusty. We are under, we are having, a project is underway to try to rebuild some stuff and build new things, things that are more safe, things that will cover a wide range of age groups. Although I saw something last week about a senior citizen kind of a playground. Have you seen those? And it's got things that you could, I mean, I don't know. I think we may, that may be with a future for us. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but we'll need your contributions to some extent to make that happen. Um, <laughs> Donations were made to B'nai Zioner for pulpit flowers in loving memory of Abe Goldman, Abe Goldman by Betty and Lynn Goldman, in loving memory of Sam Rubenstein by the David Rubenstein family, in loving memory of Elaine Toys by Goldie Morris and Sharon and Elliot Goldman. Now, we're going to turn to page 148. And before we do, before, while, while you're turning 148, um, I wanted to acknowledge happy birthday, Pauline. Happy birthday. And I wanted to let you know that this is Deb Collier's last Shabbat with us unless she comes back to visit because she's moving to Alabama. And I say that because I still am obligated to let the kids do the opening and closing of the ark. I'm not going to call Pauline up to open the ark. She's being honored by not having to do that. I already warned her <laughs> that. And Deb, too. And, uh, but I would like the kids to come up. But I wanted to acknowledge you and honor you and, and happy birthday. And we have loved having you here. And it is always, you know, she did her bat mitzvah here not very long ago. I thought mm -hmm. about I should have picked on you and let you do, do the vehafta for us. But, um, but we're, we've been very glad to know her. So make sure you give her a special, a special hug. And, um, and please turn to page 148. And as the ark is open, everybody under 13 is coming up and opening the ark. And as the ark is open, please rise. Page 148. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah. yeah, I know, that wasn't fair. Ready? Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol L'atet g'dula y'otzer b'reshit 
שלא עשנו כגוי הארצות, ולא שמענו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגורלנו ככל המונם, ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. And on page 1949. When the arcs are closed, you may be seated. Bonk. Thank you. And the Brooks family are going on an adventure. They'll be gone for a few weeks, so we may not have any door openers in the next few weeks. I don't know. <laughs> They've been coming so much, I count on them now. We continue on page 151. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. We continue on page 152. It is hard to sing of oneness when our world is not complete. When those who once brought wholeness to our life have gone and naught but memory can fill the emptiness their passing leaves behind. But memory can tell us only what we were in company with those we loved. It cannot help us find what each of us alone must now become. Yet no one is really alone. Those who live no more echo still within our thoughts and words. And what they did is a part of what we have become. We do best homage to our dead when we live our lives most fully, even in the shadow of our loss. For each of our lives is worth the life of the whole world. In each one is the breath of the ultimate one. We affirm the worth of each one whose life now ended brought us closer to the source of life in whose unity no one is alone and every life finds purpose. However brief may be our time on earth, O oh God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones whom death has taken from us as we remember those who died at this season in years past. We take them into our hearts with our own. Those for whom we're observing your sites this past week include Mary Goldstein Abramson, Arthur Annisman, Philip A. Bergman, Virginia E. Bergman, Florence Goldberg, Abe Goldman, Albert Goldshaw, Carrie Hidingsfield, A. Adler Hirsch, Marshall C. Keith, Hyman J. Mannheim, Henry T. Meyer, Bertha O. Miller, Charles Muroff, Ida B. Rosen, Sam Rubenstein, Neda Murphy Shaw, Lisa Weber Shields, Barbara Simon, Horace Simon, Elaine Toys, I. Ed Weil, and Doris Zwick. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we rise as together we praise your name. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon u'v'yomechon u'v'chaye d'chol b'yit Yisrael v'agala u'v'zman kariv v'yamru amen. Yehe shemei rabba mevarach la'alam u'almei amaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal shemei d'kudsha b'richu le'ela min kol b'erchata v'shirata tushbechata v'nechemata da'amiran ba'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shamaya v'chayim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Oseh shalom b'mromav hu ya'aseh shalom Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen.
Amen. You may be seated. That's not the one. Hmm. I wanted to sing a closing song. What's your favorite closing song? I have two Oneg announcements. So one Oneg announcement says that there is birthday cake in celebration of Angie's birthday made by her friend Margaret. That's true. It's there. That's next week. That's next week. <laughs> That's good because Angie's not here to celebrate her birthday with us. Hi, Angie. That's good. So what's my <laughs> other announcement? Oh, this is really important. You know that Cap Chai, I don't know why I didn't make it on here. I, I was going out of order, so that's probably why I missed it. Uh, yeah, sorry, they're at the tippy top and I didn't do that. Our challah tonight is made for us by the Cap Chai kids under the careful supervision of Bubby in residence, Marla Hyman. Cap Chai will continue to meet at B'nai Zion each weekday morning through next Friday. They're having a ball. So how many people here right now are at Cap Chai? You go to Cap Chai <laughs> this week. All right, see? All right, we've got camp hires this week, and they had a really great time. They went swimming. They did arts on fire. They had a, an emergency um, ambulance come and set off sirens and all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> They're having a great time today. The cantor came and sang with them. Every morning, Rabbi sings with them. So, all right, so what do you want to sing? Oh, you know what you could do? Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Exactly. Tim's right. But I need somebody from Camp Chai to help me show me the hand motions that the cantor taught you today. Do you know the hand motions? Come stand up over here and show us these hand motions. Cantor <laughs> said that he taught you, Cantor Neil said he taught the kids how to do the sign language. Can you do it? Can you do it? Do you know it? Come on up, please. Please, please. Come on up. Come on up. Please, please, please. You, you can do it. You don't know it? I don't know him, so you're going to have to teach me because he's right. I can't do hand motions while I'm playing guitar because I'm <laughs> playing guitar. <laughs> Ready? Bim bum, bim 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 bum, bim 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 bum. Now you can't just stand there. Everybody's got to do that too. You got to. You should be able to do that. Watch. Bim bum, bim 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 bum, bim 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 bum. Cheery beery beery bim bum, bim 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 bum, bim 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 bum. Now here comes the tricky part. Go. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right, so let's figure out. What's the Shabbat one? How do you do Shabbat? So you have your, it's number seven, right? The seventh day, and the sun goes down. That's Shabbat, right? Yeah. So do, what? This one. That's this number seven. That's what I said. And then you do going Shabbat, down. That's Shabbat, Shabbat. And how do you do Shalom? Shabbat. So you have shins for Shalom, and you go Shalom to show completeness. So let's try that. Go. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat 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 shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat 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 shalom. Here's the fast part. Shabbat shabbat. Shabbat shabbat shalom. Shabbat shabbat. Shabbat shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat 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 shalom. Bim bam. Don't you wish you were at Camp Chai? Now you are. <laughs> now you are. Now you can sing the songs like we do, and you can eat the challah like we do. Bubby Marla made sure that everybody washed their hands before they made the challah, so don't worry about that part. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. But I get into trouble for these things. All right, so I'm going to call everybody under 13 again. I'm not going to honor the people who don't want to be honored for their birthday. Everybody under 13, come on. <laughs> Hold on to this, and let's do the motzi. Ready? Hamotzi lechem in haaretz. We give thanks to God for Chaim Kamp Chaim made Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Bateavon. All right, I hold the plate. And everybody, pull. Ready, go. Make sure you get some and bring some to your family. Go, ready, Josiah, whichever one. Go. That's plenty. There's more up there for us. 
Please rise for the closing benediction. So the way I look at it, we did learn how to work together. I know we don't always get along that well, but look how far we've come anyway. And so it's hard for me to be as sad as I think they want us to be for Tisha B'Av. Um, and I feel blessed that we can be here together because it shows that we're working towards the, a new way of being. May God bless you. May God protect you. May the light of God's face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May God's face always be lifted up to you. May God grant you shalom. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. What? Shabbat shalom. I got it. You got it?